bring it in, weigh it, write it down, get it in the fridges, they're stacked five high, put them on the dolly, carry it up. It's really strenuous work. I call it Stairmaster 5000. The mission of the Tooele County Food Bank to feed the hungry is one that will never be complete. Yeah, we go daily and collect from different stores and so Monday through Friday, the local stores do don donate to help our town, so it's amazing. It's a continuous labor of love that requires more than the hands you see here. And here, and here. It's a community effort with three main suppliers. Stores like Walmart, Solberg's, and Albertsons, the Utah Food Bank, and then of course the people of the community themselves. Everybody works together and it stays in our community so that people don't go without. It all comes to more than 9,000 pounds of food a month, feeding 350 families, averaging 30 to 70 clients a day. They may only come in once, once in their whole lifetime because there was an emergency. And other families struggle month to month, payday to payday. In either case, the food budget is usually the first to be cut. So the food bank makes one thing clear to its clients. We encourage everyone to pay their rent, mortgage, utilities, keep the roof over their heads, keep their jobs, and let us help them with food. The Tooele County Food Bank is like a good friend. When consumers come, the food bank opens up their doors, welcomes them without judgment, and provides them with what they need so that when they leave, they're better off than when they came. This often means that clients receive a pre-made shopping cart of food. Then when the families come in, we add the dairy, the frozen, and the produce so that everybody gets nutritional meals. But the food bank offers more than just food. It has diapers donated by the Tooele Kiwanis and Rotary Clubs, infant hygiene kits, and baby blankets, most often made by local young women and Relief Society organizations. The families are very happy and grateful. Sometimes these are the first new things that their babies get. The food bank also runs a pet care program, providing emergency meals for the four-legged friends to, again, protect the food budget. The Rotary and the Kiwanis buy us large amounts of dog and cat food. The food bank also operates a Christmas dinner program for military families. And they're working on developing an outreach program to bring food to the outskirts of the county. My drivers can go out to, say, Vernon or Terra, somewhere where they can't just come in here. It's a long ride. But this all takes massive coordination. Among other things, the director works on legal compliance and grant writing, while volunteers operate the office, and two part-time employees pick up and stock the food. More help is always welcome. We, we stay busy. So you're getting by with less people than you need? Yes. Yes, there's so many different jobs that need to be done. We can use more volunteer help all the time. All they need to do is go over to the Tooele County building, go up to the third floor with um, our human resources department, and they fill out a pick some paperwork to be a volunteer. And for their work, volunteers often get something in return. What does it do for you? Oh, it's wonderful to be able to help people to see their faces and especially the kids when you know they don't have you know much at home and it just is good for your soul to help other people. If so, then the food bank is good for the soul of Tula County and it's only because of that community support they are able to say mission accomplished in one sense of the word. There's no reason for anyone to go without food, not in Tooele County. I'm Shantae Wooden with Tooele TV.